Okay, unboxing of the Olight. One of my Olights. I have a small one. This is my second Olight. This is the tactical light. Purchased on the last sale that the Olight was doing from their own website. It comes with all kinds of things inside, which I have no idea what they are. And not a single piece of paper, other than the envelope. Here is we have PL2 Valkyrie light, which is a tactical pistol light. Might be usable for more than pistols. We have some kind of an Olight plastic baggie. There's something inside. Okay, here we have a Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you too. We have a universal battery charger from Olight. And then a light sticker. That's gonna go on my safe. And a light baggie. That will contain these parts for now. Let's open the light box. As you know, this is a PL2 Valkyrie that they started producing fairly recently. It has 1200 lumen. At least that's what the box says. Obviously it's one of the less expensive 1200 lumen pistol lights on the market in comparable to Darn near anybody. I'm looking at the Surefire and it's like, okay, uh, yeah, that's a slightly different price. Its competition is probably not the um, Surefire Streamlight, but the more simple models and manufacturers, at least in my preview. I would not try to compete this thing even with a simple Streamlight, even though they're very comparable in price. Simply different niche. And I would definitely not try to compete with the the El Bigos of the Surefire, the X400 and so forth. And I have a mess on the table. You're gonna have to excuse me for that. I have all kinds of flashlights on the table right now. I'm doing reviews. Here is its predecessor <laughs> from Streamlight. Which is the Valkyrie Mini. PL Mini. And we're gonna use it to compare. Look at the size difference. Or this is for small pistols. This is for large pistols. Obviously, huge, huge number of women's difference. Let's see. Let's open it. Let's remove the plastic that prevents the batteries. Again, two batteries, one battery. Part of the Scheme of life for the power. Okay, so these are the regular batteries. Just checking. Interesting, it does not want to go in just easily. I wonder why. Is there supposed to be some kind of a method to this madness? And yes, there is. You have to pull the tab. Okay, didn't know. You have to excuse me for that. It has a strobe, it has a full, and it runs for 71 minutes on the full power, and light works for, well, they say 235 meters. No idea. Double push. Activates the strobe, which is actually quite nicely. I cannot test it right now on the distance and show you at least. But um, I'm looking at the end of my house, which is approximately 15 yards away. It does create a fairly nice round circle of light. You can see the camera reflects it quite nicely. I will try it on some of the guns. I was actually thinking of putting it on one of my carbines or the larger pistols. One of the nice features is the QD lock. I That part I like. 
and it's tight, which is nice. This I like. It's also rather slim. If you consider it towards the Mini, it's actually quite comparable if you look at it that way. See, it's not that much taller than the Mini. The controls are obviously not perfect for the pistols, the big ones, you know, the two-handed ones. But it's not bad, all things considered. You will not be able to get a strobe on a large pistol because you have to get two fingers on there. That's very, very hard in that situation. It might work on a regular pistol. 77 bucks, I think. I hope it, it is worth it. It is not that much more uh, or less than the PL Mini when on sale or not on sale. It has an additional mounting part. I presume that's for a different rail. We'll have to check. So this is a Glock rail right now. And that looks like a generic one. Generic 1913 rail. We'll see. For now, it looks good. That's all I can say. And we'll provide more information when I get it. Thank you for watching. Until the next video.